Hi, welcome back to another episode of the Budget Mini Clubman. Right, so quick recap from the last episode. We got the quarter off. We've sort of seen what we need to deal with inside the arch. Um, I knew I had a little patch to do inside the companion bin, which is not biggie. It's really easy to get to now. I can obviously I've got the, the quarter off. Um, however, there was quite a bit of corrosion on the um, sort of inside ledge of the arch. So I'm obviously going to have to make a little piece to go in there. I'm not going to replace the whole arch. It's absolutely pointless for a section about that big. Um, so I'm going to have to make that up. But other than that, I'm really, really quite chuffed with it. Um, I have sort of test fitted the panel, if you like. Uh, and it fits quite nice up here, it comes up quite well. It's just a little bit too short at the back, so I did mention it in the last episode, I'm just gonna have to make a little piece, but I've got such a random selection of scrap bin bits now, that I'm hoping I might have even have something the same profile, so um, yeah. I mean, actually, we, we actually probably will, thinking about it, because if you remember, this panel came with this top panel, so I have actually got a bit of this somewhere. So we'll we work it out and I'll make something. It doesn't look too difficult. Um, I managed to do the bulkhead uh, repair quite well, so who knows. So you just see me then, I've just been basically cleaning all this back. Um, I cure rusted it all in the last episode and I'm really shocked with it. So all this is pretty much good to go for the new panel. All this is good to go for the new panel. Um, do this repair, I'm gonna paint all inside here and all this and do this repair on the arch here. So I'll bring you in closer now and I'll show you what I'm dealing with and then yeah, let's just crack on and get it done. So. I want to take my time to do this right because obviously you're going to lock it all back in again with the panel. So hopefully we can finish this episode with the repairs done, or at least one of the repairs done, depending on time. And I can maybe show you how the panel roughly fits to the car. Um, I've never done one before, so it's all new to me as well. Right, so that's the little patch. I'm going to cut all this out as well, make one big square. So I'm going to put that in. I've got a little hole here to deal with, so I'll probably cut that out as well and maybe make another piece to go in there but this is where you can see i caught it with the grinder here cutting it but i'm going to cut out all of that all of that corrosion and put a piece in because i think that's probably the best bit for the long run moving on from that there's been a bit of a poor repair in here so i might cut that out from this side and put a little patch in here i had to do the same on the 89 build if anyone's watching that as well so it's not not a problem to sort that um the valance and closers are going anyway so I'm not worried too much about that um, inside the boot, obviously the balance is in, obviously that's part of the balance there. So what I will probably end up doing is putting the whole quarter in and not welding it to this bit yet until I put the balance in. So we'll see how it goes really. But all of this is really good. That's all, this, all this decoloration you're seeing here, this is all glue and that, well, this is all dirt in the boot, but all this, that's glue from where the little, you can see it there, from where these, there's little vinyl covers that sort of go on this. So. Next point of call, I think, is we're gonna cut this section out. Cut this section out and make some pieces to go in. And let's get welding. Because the more quicker we get welding, the quicker we get some primer on it all. So, yeah, next point of call.
Right, so all of that's cut out. So I'm gonna put a, quite a big section in, I guess. And I've cleaned that out. So let's make some repair sections up now. Right, so I've had quite a few comments of how I make the little repair sections that go into the car. Um, I literally use my scrap steel that I've got around. Now I appreciate when you're setting out, you won't have this. So it is something you are gonna to have to acquire. Uh, it is very handy to save you a bit of time and, well, I wouldn't say save time because you are, some panels are quite hard to make and you have to sort of get a bit creative with it. Um, but you can make most stuff in your garage. I don't have a vice, believe it or not, which would make making panels a lot easier because you can bend them onto it, you can put a bit of steel and bend around that. Um, I don't have that. So I literally use a block of wood and I tap it around with a hammer a lot, of, like if I need to make a curve. Um, but a good tip really when you are doing a car restoration um, is you can get scrap steel out of your car. So argument, for argument's sake, I'm doing the door skins, both on, on this car, I'm doing both door skins. Now the bottoms and all around the edges would be absolutely rotten and gone. But the center of that door skin is perfect. It's a correct profile for your car and it's free steel, free sheet steel at the end of the day. So there is ways you can save money, but with your existing car. So my advice to you would be just get creative with it. Um, best way to do it really is get a cut bit of cardboard, make a cardboard template, transfer that over to your steel, draw around it, cut it, and then you're away. Um, there's obviously a few ways to cut it. You can buy yourself a set of tin snips, which you see me use a few times in these, this series, um, or you can use a disc cutter, but make sure things clamp down and safe, and yeah, go from there. Right, so like I mentioned, I've got some basically paper, you can use cardboard or paper. So I've cut a, a little section out, I've placed it down here. So I'm gonna put my hand underneath, just draw a very, the best line you really can around it. That's the edge of the paper there, so I won't worry about that. So now you can whip this out, out of there. Obviously I've cut down there because I know I've got a straight edge, that's why I did it that way. And now make that out of steel. Right, so sorry I didn't film too much of my welding. It was getting a bit frustrating, to say the least. Um, I'm having quite a few issues with my welder. Not too sure what's going up with it at the moment, but I think I'll persevere and we'll crack on. But I've done that repair in there. I'm really chuffed with that, it's come out nice. That's all sorted there now. Obviously it's all bare metal, um, so it's gonna get all zinc primed. And you can just see the welds. I've not ground back at all yet on that lip. And obviously that section's in. So my next point of call is down here. I've got a little repair to do in there, but I'll probably do that off camera, just so I can get the car sort of ready for the for the rear quarter, so the repairs don't carry on for too long. So that is just basically a little rectangle in the bottom of the arch, and I did that in the '89 build. If anyone remembers or have watched that episode or that series as well, so cleaning all this back, I'm going to just dress it back. I'm not going to go mad; you're never going to see it again. But obviously, it's got to be right, and uh, yeah. So I'll just clean this back a little bit. I've just tried the quarter on, which I'll do again now on camera, and I think fits nice, so I'm chuffed with that. So I'm gonna clean all this back, I'm gonna zinc prime it all once I've done that repair, and seam seal it, and then I'll paint it in body color before I even think about the quarter. And then, yeah, let's crack on. Right, so this is the rear quarter, as close as I can get it at the moment. So obviously it needs clamping in, but all along there, I'm really chuffed with how that fits. I have heard this is a bit of an issue, so you do need to tap this edge around a little bit. I've seen a few people do it, so you see that looks quite bad at the moment. But if I actually hold it, there you go. If I hold it tight, it's, it's not that bad. It just needs that tapping in just, just a little bit. So I've not started any of this prep yet up here. 
I'm really chuffed with it all the way along there. Obviously that gets pulled in. It's really nice along with the new seal there. And down the back, it's nice there. And there's that little section, that little sliver there that I've just got to make. But other than that, I'm really, really quite chuffed with it. Right, so thanks for watching another episode. Um, it's just repairs at the moment, so I appreciate it's not for everyone that. Um, however, I've had some really good comments that, you know, people like to see those. So I've tried to do as many as I can. So there's the one in the bin and there's one on the arch that I've done now. Um, I've shown you, it's quite easy just to make your template, make your, make your, um, your repair section out of a scrap bit of steel or a new piece of steel, whatever you've got. Just make sure it's a good piece of steel, otherwise you're just going backwards, aren't you? So I'm going to do that repair off the back off the camera now. And I'd like to say in the next episode, we are basically ready to properly try or fit this and get this fitted in. Um, I obviously need to sort my welder out. It's not a bad welder, it's not. A, you know, it's a very expensive welder at the end of the day, but I'm not too sure what's going on with it. Um, originally I thought it was an earthing issue. I've brought a new earth clamp, it welds fine still, but every now and then it just sort of loses its mind. And yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit annoying to be honest. So yeah. I'm gonna work that out. I'm gonna go back to drawing board a little bit, start again in the settings and go from there. But it shouldn't stop me from cracking on. In an ideal world, I want a spot welder to do all this. So um, I am working on that. It's something I really, really want, but it's also something that I cannot afford. So <laughs> we'll see where we go with it. But this is gonna have to go on, whether I've got a spot welder or not, I'll plug weld it like I've done with everything else. And yeah, and this will be the whole side of this car done then, other than the front end, obviously, which we're gonna do last. So if we can literally done, 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 and move to the back. Um, the back only needs the balance that I know of, and it probably needs some repairs once I take that off. So we'll see how we get on with that. But I'll stop going on now. Thank you for watching. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you haven't already, please go see my giveaway. Um, obviously, you've got to be in it to win it. I, I'm absolutely blown away by the comments I'm getting from you guys. And your dream cars are fascinating as well. I mean, some cars that I've not heard of for years. So it's really nice to see all that surfacing and it's sort of getting to know all you all really as well, which is it's quite, quite like that. So, right, catch you next one guys. I'm gonna crack on with that repair and I'll get back to you.